Hi guys, um, so it has been a while. Um, it's been like eight months. That is mostly a whole pregnancy. Um, <laughs> and uh, I have just completely, just absolutely forgotten like to record. I've been so swamped. Um, I'm actually recording this in my drive at the minute. So different scenery, I'm in my car, I drive at the more you know. Um, so yeah, I have pink hair now. Um, I had like when that wolf cut thing was like really popular it's it's really outgrown um and i now have pink hair um because i was blonde when you all saw me last um yeah i'm bare faced at the minute i haven't got anything on my uh on my skin uh no makeup i've just had like cleansed my face and for once because i forget even though it's partly my job but I just don't look after myself. Anyway, um, so basically, um, this video is about a multitude of things. Mostly, I have now started pole dancing. Um, I started, it's like my sixth month this month. So I started the last week of May. And I it is now the second week of November. That is crazy. Christmas is a month away. Like everyone's heard that before. Um, anyway, and is what I'm going to do is I'm going to be posting uh, progresses on when I started to now. So I always record my lessons, every lesson. And the only lesson I didn't record was my very first lesson. Um, but that was like literally a week apart. So it's not that much different. Um, but I will show my progress and everything. And I'm probably going to do a bit of a voiceover as well. Um, who knows? But um, yeah, so I'll be showing my progress and everything. There might be a bit of a different background in a minute, but um, we shall see. So uh, bear with me on that. I can imagine you can see every blemish, everything. I did pick a spot, don't look. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I haven't got any makeup on. I'm completely bare faced, but um, oh well, whatever. Different background, everything like that. And this video, like I said in the intro, it's basically about um, pole and everything like that. So it's been a while <laughs> um, and I just want to show my progress, everything like that via phone and iPad. So hang on a, a minute. Da, 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 da. Learning with pole is it's not cheap. That's the first thing. Um, the way my pole studio works that I go to, I pay a membership. So um, there's three stages of membership, obviously um, lowest price to highest price. Um, so I pay um, £90 a month, that gets me 10 classes. I do pole two to three times a week, so that's obviously two, three hours a week. And I absolutely love it. Um, a, a thing that people don't realise is that you're not going to progress quick if you don't go more than once a week. Now, it is really important that you go more than once a week if you want to progress quite quickly. Okay, now I've got a clip that I made of when I first started learning. Oh, I think this is it. So I will post in a window. Right. Okay, so when I first started to learn, I couldn't keep... Uh, I couldn't keep my feet off the ground. I couldn't get my feet off the ground. So I recorded this the uh, second lesson, I think. So I started learning in, well, technically in June, it was the last week of May. So it was the last week of May and I started learning and I couldn't get my feet off the ground. First lesson, you're really not going to get your feet off the ground. And if you do, it's going to only be for a couple of seconds. Um, then again, some people have progressed differently. Um, I have progressed quite well. I'm nearly on level three as I've been doing it now as well. My sit going into my sixth month of learning pole um, because it's November now. So right, let's let's get started because I talk a hell of a lot. Okay. So I'll put in the uh, top window. Now, as you can see here, my feet don't really come off the ground that much um, only for a couple of seconds and that's about it that's all i was gonna get so that was um recorded back in may then i go to now with what i'm doing 
and it's as you can see it's completely different so you do progress and you can see it it's really important to record your progress um i absolutely love it i actually felt a little bit sick when i was doing this because i spent a little bit too fast my my fault my bad <laughs> um but uh, it does happen and i'm wearing my heels there you don't really learn with your heels on you learn barefooted but that's what i was doing there so a lot of things people don't tell you about pole is you do get covered in bruises so many bruises it is absolutely ridiculous i mean i remember before when i was learning um a layout which i'll put a picture at the top when i was learning that um i was in a hell of a lot of pain and it really sucked <laughs> It sucked learning it and I didn't like learning it because it was so painful because it wasn't the pain in my thigh area it was the pain at the back underneath my butt <laughs> and the very thin skin at the back of your thighs and I didn't realize until I was in a lesson the week after that when I was bending or warming up because there's mirrors in the studio I saw as so I was like you know looking through my legs um, that I had nice uh, nice golf ball bruises that were purple and black right at the back so I'm not surprised that I was in so much pain because it bloody hurt so yeah that's something people don't tell you um, I'll post another photo now of some of the bruises that you get I don't really take a lot of photos of the bruises I probably haven't taken a lot of photos of the really bad ones and I'm just healing one there that was fun you can see it <laughs> that was from um, this movement which I'll put at the top and yeah so it's brilliant fun and you just got to be patient like I wouldn't say I wouldn't get a movement on the Monday and I would try the movement again on the Wednesday so having a body like your body a, a break in between and then I would get it so I do get really frustrated if I don't get something straight away it sucks it's annoying but you've just got to persevere and there are movements that you'll do that you're like no nah, i don't like that i hate it it's gross there are some movements that i've done where i've been like no i'm not doing it because it looks awful but everything's going to look awful when you first start learning so you have to bear that in mind um, I was really excited when I was finally in shorts because when you're learning, you're learning in leggings. Every studio does it a little bit differently, but my studio, you're in leggings until I think you're ready to go in shorts and that's when you start climbing, which I will grab a video of that now. So when you start climbing and then you obviously need to wear shorts for that. You need the grip for your skin. Same for a pole sit which I don't know how I'm going to put the videos in, but we'll see. <laughs> and then um, you do do a lot of floor work when you first start to learn. A lot of people don't like that um, because you're thinking, first lesson, you're like, yeah, I want to get on the pole. I want to do all these fun, spinny things, but you're not going to get it. And i got to be honest, a lot of people go, oh, I, I'm not strong enough to do that. I can't do that. You literally build the strength as you start learning with pole. You do. You, you build you build the strength when you start learning. It's not about being really strong beforehand. Um, I was meh, kind of strong before I did that. I didn't do any gym or any exercise or anything like that beforehand. The reason why I've given um, why I've built up so much um, muscle mass. Squirrels. Squirrel. So I just thought two squirrels running across the back fence. It was really cute. One squirrel, he's just like chilling. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> um, yeah, I started building the muscle mass, um, obviously, when I was learning pole. Um, but then again, you, I, I always think to myself, I don't want to get really bulky, like bodybuilder. You're not going to get like that if you're not doing like the diet and um, you're not doing more workouts at the, the gym. But... Um, yeah, my body, when I first started learning to now, is crazy. I did do a before and after photo. I'll see if I can put it up at the top somewhere and you'll be able to see the difference in how my body was before to now. And it's absolutely crazy. And even when I'm doing like um, routines, now you can see the muscle definition in like my legs or something like that. Um, it is crazy the, the difference that you can get from just doing something like that. But a lot of people don't realise it's a full-blown workout. And a lot of people think to themselves, yeah, I can lift myself up on that pole. Easy peasy. It's hard. 
It's hard work, it's painful, it's an expensive hobby, the pole clothes are pricey as hell, um, and the boots, depending on what type of boots you get, I think mine were £90, but um, I wasn't sure, well, I, did, I didn't invest in boots until I was sure that I was sticking with it, but I wasn't sure which ones to get, so I went with boots instead of sandals, slash which they're like the heels, um, because you get more support in a boot than you do with the sandal. Um, the sandals are really little lush, but I know my ankle's gonna roll like this. I did that in boots. Um, you will fall, everything like that. You will injure yourself. It does just happen. Sometimes your slip just goes like your grip. Um, some girls use um, actual like chalk grip. I have used that. Um, and I have used the iTac, which is literally like glue. So it's so bad, like so strong, sorry, that your hands go together and you literally can't do that. But in order for you to grip the pole sometimes, you need that glue to stick. Otherwise you're not getting anywhere. Um, sometimes you do just end up slipping. It's a lot harder when it's hotter weather because you get sweaty palms. But it's, uh, it's one of those things that happens really. You're gonna slide down a pole. It happens, it happens. But the reason why we're in um, at least shorts or like a sports bra is so our skin can grip really and I mean I'm I'm not even advanced or anything like that I'm about to go on to level three so I'm about to level up and when I say level three um, my pole studio has levels um, whereas level one is literally beginner just floor work and level two and then you've got level three and like I said everyone progresses differently um, so yeah, so I will post up a few more clips now and that you can see some progress and I will be back. Okay, hello. Um, so yeah, so you saw my progress then. I just wanted to quickly show you <laughs> this clip of um, my heels, or boots, they're boots. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I saw someone on TikTok record it and I was like, I have to film one of these. So I did record it. Um, God knows what I look like right now. But um, yeah, I loved doing this clip. So I'll put it up in the top. And I, I love it. I love the boots. I, I can just appreciate a good shoe. I don't know which way I'm looking. I don't know which side I'm going to put the video on. If I can get it, that is. But yeah. Um, yeah. Um, obviously, it's been a while since I've posted. Um, I just wanted to do like a little video like that. Um, I know I tend to waffle on. I'm a bad. But um, yeah, I just... It, I can't believe I've been away for so long. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I uh, I might put another video out for Christmas. I might not. I I have got ideas. It's literally I'm just such a procrastinator, so it's just putting them into um, progression. But um, yeah, so I wanted to make a poll video, um, and I think I've covered all the questions. If not, I'll uh, edit some on top of the video. But um, yeah, so thank you for watching. And um, yeah, it was, it was nice to, to speak to you guys again. See ya.